<laughs> I can see myself now. Okay, okay. Whoa, Casper. Okay. <laughs> Were you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Praise God. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I know y'all see us laughing and chuckling in here today, but. Uh, you know, uh, my co-host, boy, he, he is something to work, to, to work with every week. What's going on, Pastor? How are you doing today, man? I am doing phenomenal. I tell you, God is good. <laughs> you phenomenal, huh? I'm phenomenal. Well, I just wish that, that uh, uh, our <laughs> listeners got a chance to hear you talk about you can't see yourself. <laughs> oh, boy, no. Casper, <laughs> you turn into Casper. Yeah, Casper. Hey, you know this is such a beautiful day. Uh, again, we want to thank all our listeners who took the time to join in with us today, right here at Focus Twenty Twenty. That's the name of our broadcast, and we welcome each one of you right here. What's the name of the station, man? Joy thirteen forty AM and ninety eight point seven. Again, I'm Pastor Walter Owens, and and I'm Pastor Charles Henry. The, the one that can't see himself. The one who's Casper. <laughs> All right, then, Casper. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We want to finish up where we left off in. Then I guess this is true, Pastor. Does history repeat itself? Amen. <laughs> what goes around? <laughs> it comes right back around again. So you can't see yourself. All right. I just want to make sure. I want to just make sure. Let's get going here. Amen. You know, uh, this has been a very historic week. Yeah. A very, very historic yeah. week. We have a new president, a new vice president, and yeah. I'm praying that we will have a new country that will come back together. Amen. You know, you know, and I'm not speaking politically. I'm, I'm talking about people. We as God's people that we can come back together and come back old and strong. You because cry. yes, sir, yes, sir. Because we need we need it more than ever now. You know, yeah. just like what we were speaking about last week, Pastor. Is, uh, does history repeat itself? In other words, what goes around comes around. And uh, this month, for uh, our listeners, uh, we've been uh, taking uh, es essays from uh, our sister uh, Jackie Dotson. Uh, more of you got it's a two-year affirmed devotional and journey. And we've been looking through uh, what the book that God has given her to uh, give us. And uh, I just want to uh, start off with uh, two days, as we do when you pick out two days uh, of the month. We're going to use the 20th and the 21st and see how this ties in for what she written and more you got in how it relates to our history does history piece itself. Amen. Okay. Do you have it, uh, 20? Yes. Okay. Well, why don't you read that for us, Pastor, and then we can get going. It says, Jesus, my Savior, my soul says yes to you today. Mm -hmm. I will continue to press towards the mark of a high calling. I will not turn back. I have come too far to retreat or give up. My victory is around the corner, but the enemy wants me to think it's miles away. Mm -hmm. I will not be deceived. I will press on. I know I am victorious because you, Father, are on are my side. Lord, all power is in your hands. You own everything and everybody. You even own Satan. So in the grand schemes of things, he has no power. Moreover, I was made in your image. So I know who I am and whose I am. I will operate with the power residing inside of me. I will not be defeated. I will stand tall and firm walking hand in hand with you lord guide my path take over these situations lord i'm resting in having i'm resting in you having a great joy and your peace your peace surpasses all understanding with more of you god i love that pastor what you just read you know in the second uh, uh sentence there where we said i will not turn back yes i will not turn back you know and and it just as you was reading that it just made me think of um of uh the inauguration you know and when I was saying earlier the, uh, the opening of our show is that we need to come together as a people yes a people yes. in this country we need to pray for our leaders 
we need to pray for our country. Absolutely. We need to pray that uh, those who have been lost yeah. need to turn to Christ. Yeah. And he will, that history will repeat itself. Yes, because, it, you know, last week you shared something when it was real powerful, Pastor. And I want to go back to that book. You showed me something in the book of Ecclesiastic, uh, chapter 1, verse 7. And from uh, 1 to 7, and they tied into more of you, God, but uh, help us with this here, Ecclesiastic chapter 1, verse 7. Okay, chapter 1, verse 7, it says, All rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full, and to the place whence it, the rivers come, thither they return again. You know, and I was thinking about this because when you think of history, you know, it hasn't come to the full, you know, uh, fruition of the same thing over and over that happened before. But it's the same, I, I look at it as the same format, but different methods. Come on, come the on. The same format, but different methods. And the reason I said it because it talked about how the rivers, you know, they run to and forth, but yet they connect back to its source. So, you know, and everything that God has created, it, con it connects back to the source, which is God himself. You know, I like that because we know rivers are smaller. Yes. They're real small. You know, you start, what, when it's a creek? Yes, a creek. You go to the river, then you go to the lake. You go to the lake and the sea, right. So when, when, uh, if I'm hearing you right, it's just what you just read. All the river runs into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Yes, isn't that amazing? Come on, come on. You know how the river, you know, it can be, continue to keep overflowing, but never is full enough. You know, it's the same way in our hearts with the Lord. We can keep getting more and more of God, but we still ain't full all the way to the capacity that God wants to be because we'd never be able to contain all that God is. I like that because uh, what Sister Dotson wrote in More, uh, more View God, uh, I, I'm reading here, it says, My victory is right around the corner, but the enemy wants me to think it is miles away. Yeah. And so this, this, this river going into the sea, it could be miles away. Right. But it continually flow yes. into his destiny. To his destiny. Come on now. Yes, it does. <laughs> to his purpose that it was created. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I like that. that that's good, Pastor, because uh, look what it says in uh, uh, verse 9. Mm -hmm. uh, that which has been is what will be. Yes. That which is done is what will be done, and there is nothing new under the sun. you got to help us with that one. In the Amplified Version, it says it like this. So uh -huh. The things that have been, it is what will be again, and that which has been done is that which will be done again, and there is nothing new under the sun. Because as history repeats itself, the same things that happen in historical times are the very same things that reinvents itself in today's time. You know, just like the different, you know, different things that are taking place in our government arena and all those different things. You know, how even as we were discussing earlier, you know, about how Dr. Luther King had a dream, you mm -hmm. know, that he would unite, you, nations would unite with each other, people would come together, different nationalities would come together. What happened? That was years ago. That was in the 60s. Yes. But yes, as time yes. progressed, look what we're standing today. We got a, a multicultural president now, president and a vice president two different nationalities connected together in government arena. It's because God repeats himself. He says nothing new under the sun. And because there's nothing new, God says, you know what? This is what I predestined to be for such a time as this. I love that, Pastor. And that's what we need to uh, listen to the word of God. Yes. And, and it, it, I love it because when, it, when he uses a parable, you know, yes. I found a parable is the truth for you to seek and find it. Absolutely. You know, and yes. one thing about yeah. uh, I love about our, our Lord and Savior is when He speaks, He speaks everything for what it is. Yes. You know. He does. You know everything what it is. I mean, you know, uh, peace be still. You know, he, that's yes. when He was talking to the storm. Right. But that's not the first time a storm has ever it happened. Is. No. <laughs> so, so why I gotta uh, shout and scream and holler? Oh, it's raining, stormy. You got to stop this. You know, like when. Uh, I was watching um, uh, the inauguration. It has happened before. History, the yes. coldness, yes. the coldness. Yes. But one thing that happened, they said today, when it started out, it was so cold. Yes. The Father of the Spirit was mm -hmm. cold. It started snowing. Mm -hmm. But when when Christ 
wanted his point across, the sun came out. It did. You, 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 are you with me? Yes. I want I want you all a family to follow the uh, in spirit spirit in spirit here is because one thing in all the darkness that has happened in our I mean, I'm speaking of our, our United States here. Right. The light of Christ will still shine. Yes, it and will. that's what he's steady saying is what goes around comes around. Yes. You know, yes. uh, look 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 at here. Uh, verse 10 of, of that same um, scripture uh, uh, is there anything of which is maybe said see this is new it has already been in ancient times before there is no remembrance of former things nor will there be remembrance of things that are to come by those who will come after help, them, help us with that one pastor you know that that is a really good good statement right there uh -huh. because you know it talks about you know there are things which may be said you know it says see is this something new so it's a question that god is, is conveying to us is there is this something different than happened before you know but when you continue to read the scripture it says it has already been you know the key point <laughs> things that are happening today it's the same thing that happened before. And God said, this is something that's already been. So it's nothing new to uh -huh. us, but it's, you know, God at work in the process to reveal himself and get the glory. You know, and I love this. I would not be defeated, and I would stand tall and firm, walking hand in hand with our Lord. God, my path, take over these situations, Lord. Yes. And just what you were just saying, Pastor, yes. there's nothing new under nothing the sun. Nothing new. Nothing new. So help our listeners is to get focused back on Christ and not pay attention to the past. You know, what would you suggest on that? I would, you know, I would suggest that the main thing is, like I always say, when you get in the Word of God, get an understanding. Get an understanding what God's Word is talking about. You know, there are different tools out there to help us when we study God's Word to get clarity and to, to know what God is conveying to us because there's a rhema word in the Logos. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a spoken, a specific spoken word from God to uh -huh. us to open our understanding and our eyes to see what God sees and hear what God hears. But if we don't have a desire, you're going to miss the mark. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, I want you to, I want to, want you to go with me, Pastor, in this, stay in this book of Ecclesiastes, but you, in our meeting earlier today, you, 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 you went a little deep with me and, and I love it. Because you showed me something in a book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12. Mm -hmm. go, go with me over to chapter 12, and I think you showed me something in verse 14. Okay, and it says, God says that individuals will have an, to account for all their works, including secret sins. Even the words they have we have spoken will be judged. What do you mean by that? We're going to be held accountable for whatever word we allow to come out of our mouth. What you know? that, okay, and what that means is that we all, I guess it's secret sins, you know, and this is this is the uh, the English Standard Version. It talks about the secret sins that the, you know, we have in our heart. And God said, you know, everything that you spoke is going to be held, you're going to be held accountable for that. You know, so we have to be careful what we allow to come out of our mouth, whether righteous or unrighteous, you know, because... We, we, we're not our own. We've been bought with the price. We belong to the Lord. Okay, so what that got to do with uh, history repeating itself? <laughs> Come on now. I, I hear what you said, but what that, you know, what that got to do with anything? What does that have to do with history? Well, it has a lot to do with what, what you got to tell me. <laughs> because, let me see some of my notes. It says, pointing directly to the reason why everything matters. It is obvious that God, who is in control, brings up the past for his purpose. God always does things with good purposes in mind. In, in this verse, the language is quite positive. He does not bring the past up for the purpose of condemnation, but for redemption. So even in this, this time, as God's long thing to repeat itself, it's for us to get an understanding of his redemptive work in our lives. Okay, okay. So other ways you're saying it's a prominent theme in Ecclesiastes and yes. judgment. The book ends with the statement that God will bring every deed into judgment. Yes. Again, that's Ecclesiastes 12. Pointing directly to a reason why everything matters. It yes. is obvious that God, who is in control, yes. brings up the past for his purpose. Yes. Why would God do that? 
Why? Yeah. Why? Because he loves us. He wants to, to invade himself through our lives every day as we learn to mo learn more about him and who who we are and who you know and who he is. You know, it's so important to know who God is in your life. And when you get an understanding that, hey, you know what? I don't belong to myself. I belong to God. So even though I made mistakes, I have some shortcomings and failures in my life, yet God is still sovereign. He's still merciful. He's still loving. And he says that even though I'll bring up the past to remind you the things that you've done, it's not to condemn you, but to show you that my redemptive work brought you salvation and deliverance. Okay. You know, I, I like what, how you just let that flow out of your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> but well, you know what was good about that is because when you was speaking that pastor, it it reminded me of what you said earlier. God knows who we are yes, and whose we are. Yes. So otherwise, it sounds like He's continuously to test us to see if we are in our rightful place. Absolutely. Even when the history repeats itself, not to bog yourself down with that. Mm -hmm. Let it, it it too shall pass. That makes yes. sense. Yes. Yes. Oh, I made some sense. Today. You made some sense. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because that, that's that's you know that's great. Because in seeking Him, God is truly with us in our mess. Yes, He is. Yes, wow, he is. wow! 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 So, yes, in other words, he is. when we are continually making mistakes in our lives, yes. He is still there for us. Still there. So, uh oh. Mm. So, in other words. He already know what I, uh, our history is going to be. He does. Before we even do it. Yes, that he makes does. makes sense? He does. Because he created you. And he, because he created you, know, he know every thought. Before you even utter a word out of your mouth, but before you speak, he know what you're going to say. Mm -hmm. He knows what your actions gonna res and responses are going to be. And, you know, and the thing about God is so sovereign and so loving towards us that even though he know we might even go astray, yet he had a remedy. Which is Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know, amen. He still has a remedy for us. I'll right, give you an amen <laughs> on that one. <laughs> Did you figure that? Now you will see yourself. I saw that. You see, okay, you see yourself now. Okay, that's good. That's good because, you know, I'm looking at uh, in, in the paragraph is where we was reading, and he is seeking to help those who have truly made a mess oh, of their past. past. That includes all of us. This verse provide evidence that by his grace he is seeking to recover and restore what seems from our point of view to be forever lost. That's something. Yeah. I mean and, and I like how you were just explaining that where God has already saw what we are going to do. Yeah. You know I love that part when he said your beginning is my ending. Right. You're trying to catch up with me. Right. So when it says does history repeats itself and what goes around comes around yeah that's what now it makes sense why he said there's nothing new under the right. sun exactly you, you know? know and we do have to catch up with god's revelation of who he is and what he says about us because even in our mess ups you know like it says we make a mess out of our lives all of us do so in other words he includes everybody but one thing about god he said your ladder would be greater than the former Meaning what? That means your ending is going to be better than your beginning. So your beginning may start off raggedy and messed up and chaotic, but God says in the end, it's going to be prosperous, it's going to be productive, it's going to be made with peace. I mean, God is going to turn everything around your life and make it better. Because he will be glorified. For him to be glorified. Amen. Look, 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 do you have a January the 21st? Yes. Read that one. Read that one. Because I think this is going to uh, put a stamp on what you just said. It says, God, thank you, Lord. For loving me unconditionally. Stop right there. We need to thank Key him. Point. That's it, Pastor. We need to thank him for loving me, loving yes. us unconditionally. unconditionally. Keep going. Yes. Today, I feel your love wrapped all around me. Uh -huh. I know it never leaves. You love me as much as you love your own son. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's whoa. deep. Whoa. So God loves us much as he did his own yes. son. Yes. Yes, hallelujah. So he knew that the history would need to repeat his repeat, repeat itself. itself. To right. repeat itself is because he knew there's gonna be a time where I have to show you the the love that I have for my son. When yeah. you come on the yeah. scene, I'm gonna love you the same yeah. way. Yeah. Oh my god, that's yeah. beautiful. That's beautiful. Keep going back. Says, so I could be saved. Yes, Lord. You gave up your very own son's life. 
I'm precious to you, and I thank you, Lord, for you never giving up on me. Lord, there are times when I walked away from you, finding myself getting to what the world says is good and acceptable. However, you never stop loving me. You keep on forgiving me, and you never leave me. Precious, precious Savior. Oh, how I love you and loving on more of you, God. Amen. That's Amen. deep. That, That's that, deep. that really is, Pastor. That, yes. that is, is something because uh, uh, I, I want you to go in reverse. Uh, go back over to Ecclesiastes 3. Okay. Uh, 314. I mean, that is, that, that I mean, that, I, I gave so much, gave so much of my life for you that I gave you my only, my only begotten son to let you know how much I love you. What it, look what it says over here in Ecclesiastes uh, 314. I know that whatever God does, it shall be what? Forever. Never. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it. God does it that men should fear before him that which is already been is now. Is now. And what else and what is to be already, has already been, and God requires an account of what is past. Wow. That's good, Pastor. All right, that's that amazing. really is. I'm, I'm really glad that you showed me that in our meeting because yes. What, what God is showing us, what God is really showing us is that what goes around comes around. And when, when history starts repeating itself, yeah. then you got to know that I'm there with you. Got to. You know, I'm going to pr provide a way. In other words, I'm going to provide a way out of any situation that you're in. You know, when, 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 when trials and tribulation comes up and when, when things start turning against us, this is something that has happened before. Even when you went through things before in your life, God said I was always there with you. Always. If I brought you out of that, I'm going to bring you out of this. Yes, yes, it will. You know, you know uh, the story flows in translated uh, that I see something where uh, Solomon does not dwell on why the original king became hardened to the counsel advice. Nevertheless, he closed his ears to their advice. Now that's what we have to do. When we start hearing things such negative, that's gonna bring damnation down on us, we yes. have to do what Solomon. You gotta close that ear. Mm -hmm. You can't yeah. listen, it. listen to everything or what is being said. If it doesn't line up with God, you shouldn't be listening to it anyway. Right, right, because it's produced negativity and doubt. Come on, come on, Pastor. Yeah. Come on. We come have on. to always walk according to God's word and right. We have to shut out voices that doesn't line up with God's word. Oh man. Come on. I know you got yeah, something so, else. I so got if it you. doesn't line up with God's word, you know, one thing about it, like it says here in our notes, he helps us recall incidents with honesty that helps us learn what we should and should not have done or said and resolve the conduct of our to ourselves far better uh, going forward. In other words, God, he, he shows us what we should and should not do so that your ending will be better than the beginning. The same thing I was just talking about before is because when we have our focus set on him, it doesn't matter what people think. It doesn't matter what they say because God's word is going to trump anything you know, that comes against you because Amen. his word is all-knowing, all all-powerful because that he is the word. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's getting that time. We're going to mm -hmm. just close the door on this one. Again, yeah. I want to thank Sister Jackie Dotson for more yeah. of you, God. Uh, anyone that want to purchase this book, you can go to GodsDivineJourney.com. You can also find, uh, find it on eBay, Barnes & Noble, and Amazon. Pastor, give us a, a, a word of comfort and a quick prayer before we get out of here. Okay, I just want to encourage everyone to you know, keep on getting in God's Word, allowing God's Word to speak into your spirit, into your heart, to inspire you and build you up in your faith to keep depending on God all the days of your life. So, Lord, we thank you today for this word going across the airways that will not return to you void, but it shall, Father, land in the hearts of those who hear this word and bring life unto them. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Did, uh, you, think we, you, you think we should just keep our same promo?